Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve absolute value inequalities with less than. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. To solve absolute value inequalities with less than, we follow these rules. If the absolute value of u is less than a, or less than or equal to a, same basic rule applies. Then negative a is less than u, or less than or equal to u, and then continue that on is less than positive a, or less than or equal to positive a. So basically we're sandwiching u with a negative and positive a. So let's look at our example here. We want to solve the absolute value of x is less than 7, and then graph the solution and write the solution in interval notation. Well, we'll start with the absolute value of x is less than 7. Our rules say our a value is well, 7 here, and we have the x here, which is our u, and we just have a less than sign. So they tell us that negative 7 here is less than x, which is less than a positive 7. Which kind of makes sense. This is all the values in this range here where x can be to make our original statement true. Let's go graph this, then we can test it really. So we have a number line right here, good old number line. We'll just put zero right in the middle. And let's go, well, we'll put one, negative one here. And then I'm gonna kinda go like this. One, two, right. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just so you can see part of them. I guess I can go three. Let's go every other odd one there, except for negative one and positive one. Um, well, every other, but yeah, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and then, well, negative 10. Yeah, I kind of did every other odd, but then did 9 and 10. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, our less, thans, uh, less than sign here says we cannot equal the value, but uh, we can get every value in between negative 7 and positive 7. So a negative 7 is less than x, we put an open circle here at negative 7, and a positive 7, th same thing, open circle. From there, we connect the 2 with our number line. Or not our line, just a line. And now we've graphed our answer here. Now notice, we said we're going to test this really quickly. This represents all values that x can be. If we plug 0 in for x, absolute value of 0 is 0, and that is still less than 7. Positive 5 in for x there, absolute value of 5 is 5, is still less than 7. Absolute value of negative 5, same thing. Absolute value of a negative 5 is a positive 5, which is still less than 7. The only way it doesn't get true is as we get to the ends here, at 7 and negative 7. If we put 7 in, absolute value of 7 is a positive 7, which is not less than 7, they're equal, so that's the open circle there. And of course you toss in a large number, neg or large negative number, negative 10 here, outside of our range. Negative 10, the absolute value is a positive 10, which is not less than seven, which isn't true. So now we need to write this in interval notation as well. We start with negative seven, our lowest value here, and we're not equal to it, so we put a parenthesis. Then we go all the way through the values, up to positive seven, but again, we don't equal positive seven, so another parenthesis. And there we have it. We have our answer here in interval notation. So we had an absolute value inequality and we solved it and we graphed our solution and we wrote our solution in interval notation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve absolute value inequalities with less than. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.